Okay, looking like we should be live here. Slight delays because uh, I was finishing eating up some food. <laughs> Gotta make sure that, you know, you're not uh, hungry. When you start the stream, it's gonna be really bad for you otherwise. All well, that being said, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm just gonna be doing only Unica Story or I'll do like Unica Story plus like a bit of Hugo's. I guess it'll really just depend on how much there is still left to play. So, let's get this game in focus so we can actually get some music in. I guess, uh, we'll just leave the audio like this for now unless I see it uh, jumping too high into like the reds and stuff. And then I'll lower it down then. But anyways, uh, this one here. Man, look at like the difference. <clears throat> 17, 19, 19. 24, and that's like, you know, 31, 41, <laughs> all the way to 45. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, last time I got to like, uh, a mirror area, but I didn't go through everything in the mirror area because, uh, there was a chest that I saw. I actually quite remember if I was supposed to. Okay, no, that's the boss fight. So I need to head back. Actually, where even was it? I feel like maybe it was down here, is where it was. Like, it's probably better to be kind of in the earlier level area rather than in that one. Although, maybe I'm wrong. It has been like, what, two weeks or at least a week and a half? I guess we'll see. <laughs> Man, these guys don't really do damage now, huh? It's pretty nice, honestly. Yeah, that only like gate. Yeah, it's, it's single digit damage. You'll love to see it. I guess at the same time, though, I probably shouldn't really need to bother killing these enemies then because uh, I'm probably not getting much EXP. But I mean, you know, slimes, though, I, I don't mind fighting them. I mean, look at all this stuff. Alright, but I will actually move on. I like, definitely feel like these enemies are not really giving me much EXP now, so... Uh, let's just move on. I need to go back to the mirror world. Guys, if I remember where the mirror world is, I'm pretty sure it's here, though. I just need to go up north. Okay, yep. Uh, let's see now. So, if I remember correctly, the chest is in the northwest. Yeah, over there. You see it right there. So, how do I get to that? Let's find out. And it seems like probably this audio level is probably fine. Like... I see my voice going in the red, which is fine. Good. And then, uh, looks like game audio doesn't go into the red. Really, just like high yellow. So I guess I'll just keep it like this. Oh, I'm back here. Uh, okay. Not right, going there then. We'll go down. I'm sure if I just keep on going places. It, you know, to the left side, I'll eventually reach it. Wait, wait, did I just return back? Yeah, it seems like it. Well, alright, I, I guess we can't just keep going left.
Oh, I just got it. Sweet. Oh, really? Just SP? I mean, 20,000 SP is pretty high, but, you know. I guess it's, it should make sense. It's not like a fancy looking chest. Oh, okay. These guys do hit for quite a bit, though. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'm thinking it's time to, uh, time to head back and, uh, save. <laughs> I, I ain't about to die here. Uh, let's see. Do I want to actually get any blessings since that gave me 20k? Granted, it's 20k out of me getting, having, like, 250k, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, I can't strain my leggings yet because it's not the best one, so definitely not that. Hmm. I mean, I guess since I have the money, uh, I'll just do this. I imagine it's not going to be too big of a deal, but it's like, whatever, we'll just grab it anyways. 80k and 100k, like I could still level this up for sure, for sure. Alright, anyways. So the enemies here are pretty weak now, but the enemies in the mirror world are pretty strong. Dang, man. I wonder if there's like a faster way to get back to that area. Oh no, I need to go here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's try this again then. I did get the thing this time though, so I just need to worry about actually just getting to the uh, final area looks like. Which I did do last time, but I don't remember the path. <laughs> okay, so it brought me back here. Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. I should have figured. I had a feeling that brought me back to the beginning. Okay, there you go. Get me out of here. Oh, I'm not out of here, though. <laughs> oh, you know what? I If I had known that the next area would have just given me an, uh, a demon statue, which changed into an angel statue, I should have I just done this before, man. That would have been so much better. <laughs> I could just teleport like straight here instead of like having to go, uh, you know, those routes. But, I mean, you know, what can you do? First time playing through this, <clears throat> it's like... You're playing it blind, so... Okay, so we have basically what looks like another boss fight coming up. Don't really have anything to... 
adjust or anything like that, so. Alright then, let's see what happens. Who are we fighting this time? Or what? Oh no, I've been trapped. No, I'm trapped. If the enemy attacked now, I wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> this almost reads like she's being insincere. It's like, oh no, I'm trapped. Whatever will I do? <laughs> hey there, Roy, my boy. What you doing here? I mean, okay, I mean, we, we know what you're doing here. We know what all the knights are doing here. Quite the predicament you've gotten yourself into. This is a simple magic cage, though. Don't worry. It looks flashy, but it's not very strong. Well, you know, that's great and all. But you're talking to the person that can't use any sort of magic, so I mean, you know. Should be easy enough to dispel. Oh, okay. If you wouldn't mind, then. No problem. We'll call it even. After all, you saved me when I was turning to stone, so it's the least I can do, right? Oh come on, this isn't anywhere near as bad. Seriously. You know the you know the lengths I had to go through, huh? To unpetrify you and others? Haha, <laughs> alright, let's just get you out of there. What a naughty little boy you are. Touching things that don't belong to you. Oh no. I still gotta get out though, because I gotta fight. We can't have Roy and my boy fighting. Damn, you're the you're that sorceress who kidnapped Lady Fina. I went to a lot of trouble to lure this girl into my snare. She's my trophy. And anyone who tries to steal my trophy will be punished. Oh no. Roy! My boy! Impressive. Most men would have abandoned that little chick to flee for their lives. She must mean a great deal to you. I wonder which will shatter first. The magic cage, or the humble boy who seeks to break it? I look forward to finding out. Why'd you even use, like, a simple cage? You could've just used, like, a stronger one. Then, like, no one could, like, try to, like, break it. You know? Or what? You just have, like, no power. So it's like, eh, let me just use a simple cage. You too busy uh, using your power for something else? Roy, my boy! You have to run! You heard her. If you wish to scuttle away with your tail between your legs, you're free to do so. Think about it. Is a girl so incompetent with magic worth sacrificing your very life? She is! She can't use magic, but she's damn strong. It's true! Look how far I made. <laughs> With only my trusty weapons. And I get some skills. Or else you wouldn't have had to set a trap like this. It's true, though. She beat you once. So this is your last hope, isn't it? You're afraid of her. Oh, snap. Yo, you go tell him. Or you go tell her, man. That, that's what I'm talking about. Nah, Roy's got this. My man, he's, he's gonna get me out. I've heard quite enough out of you. You have one last chance. Leave now. The next strike will be fatal. Are you sure about that? Don't you dare lose to the likes of her. Oh, I'm out. Roy! Damn, they even, like, add blood stains and stuff like that? Oh, no, no, no. That was a huge mistake, Zaba. Just look what you made me do. Oh my goodness, victim blaming? Shaking my head. Truly a villain. Yeah, that's right. Shut the hell up. You're nothing but a coward. A miserable, pathetic coward. <laughs> she here saying mind your tongue, little bitch. Shaking my head. I've not forgotten the shame I endured when Lord Dallas ordered me to retreat from Rouse's annex. And I'll make sure you don't forget either. Alright, let's see what happens here then. Oh, you just summoned a giant demon. Or, I, I, I guess, several.
Do I also have to attack her? Like, presumably, yes, right? Right. These are my precious ones, the strongest of all my familiars. And together we shall gleefully tear you limb from limb. Alright, then. I'll never lose to a cow like you. True! Alright, so far it seems like... What? That still got me? I mean, that didn't really do much damage, but like, that still hit me? Oh, I can stand on top. Alright. Uh, let's see. Do I try to attack her? Because it doesn't seem like I can actually do anything with these spaces. Yeah, it seems like it. Yo, I just <laughs> smacked her and she fell down. That's pretty funny. Ah. Ah, I wonder, can I actually just do this? Oh yeah, I totally can. Get wrecked. Oh dang it, she exploded. Now I'm pretty sure this fire won't ever reach. Like, yeah. You know, with some of these bosses' attacks, they really do be making you hit and run a lot. Oh, at the very least, it's certainly a, like, sorta safe strat. Ah! That hit me multiple times. Dang, that sucks. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, we can't... Huh? Okay then. Oh, she teleported too. You know what? My boots is almost up anyways. Ha! Ah! It would've been nice if they gave me a little bit of even frames at the end of that. But then again, I guess they're already giving me a bunch of even frames, you know, on the skill animation itself. Wait a minute, actually, could I have- Oh, I can't- Ah! Uh, I'm thinking, like, maybe if I act, if I equip the, uh, things that make it so that way I can walk on slippery surfaces better. I wonder if that would have helped out. Is lava, gotcha. I guess I uh, try to stand on that uh, other demon's head then. Ah, oh, the lingering stuff got me. Okay, that's a pretty good combo. Like, basically one full, like, uh, ground combo into the charge lightning skill. Does a pretty good job of doing pretty much a full amount of damage and avoiding her, like, get off me attack. It's time for me to... Oh! Get me! Yep, there you go. Oh, trying to shake me off? Well, alright, whatever. That, that's not too bad. Ah! 
Alright, so far I think uh, we pretty much got, like, her patterns down now. Uh, I wonder if I could have gotten a hit on her, like, before she did that. Just keep running. Hey, you, you didn't fall down. You gotta fall down. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing this again. Okay, there you go. Ah, I didn't activate it uh, quick enough. Well, that's not too bad. That was only five points of damage, so... Okay, something new. We're on, like, the final part, I, I guess. Oh, wait. No, no. Oh. oh okay, never mind. That, that was just, like, a combined attack, and... Uh, she Alright, not too bad. We're not taking that much damage here. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure. We're pretty much done. Oh, I, as soon as I say that, I took 30 points of damage. That's great. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't think it was 30. It was like something, though. There we go. Where did she go? Let me hit her. It would have been nice to actually just get, uh, you know, my, uh, my boost, my burst attack off. <clears throat> Alright, I, I, we'll, we'll do the song and dance one last time. Imagine losing to a girl that can't do magic. Couldn't be me. Oh wait, you are losing to me. <laughs> Although, how is this possible, truly? And those were the strongest creatures I had. Yeah, I mean, not that strong, apparently. <laughs> Shaking my head. But you're too late. The end is at hand. And when the dem demonic essence is made whole, Lord Dallas will revive me. Are you sure about that? I like this answer of just hit things really hard until you win. The mirror just breaks. It it's just hiding stairs behind it. My goodness, this is even more blood. I guess it makes sense. Roy was bleeding, and uh, he, he was bleeding the entire time I was fighting. Speak to me, Roy. My boy. Come on, Roy. You're a fighter. You'll stay alive with this. Maybe he can... I'll call Fox Superior. Maybe he can save you. Don't be an idiot. Just look at me. Finished. Eh, I mean... I feel like you're pretty healable, honestly. You don't really look that bad. Like, sure, I guess we can't see internal damage, but I mean, you know, on the outside, it's like, eh, you know, I've, I've seen worse. You can definitely survive. You look miserable. You beat me, Unica. You're a better knight than I could ever be. Stop trying to cheer me up. Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing a terrible job right now. 
Stop playing the big brother for a change and just let me grieve for you. <laughs> Can't help who I am. Oh, not for a second, like, because of the fadeaway, I thought he was just going to, like, just disappear. <laughs> like, right in front of me. I see, they were just going back to the, the sprite. <laughs> I was going to give it to you when you were knighted. It's a gift. For me? Yeah, I thought. I wait until this is all over, but... I don't even know why you did. You had to lie still until help arrives. I put all the magic I have left into it. Please, use it well. Receive the spirit necklace. Thank you for that item pickup music. It's okay. This is how it should be. Roy. You have to keep going, Unica. Don't ever worry that you can't use magic. Just cry and shout and laugh. Don't ever lose that innocence and that single-mindedness. That's your real strength. It's why I fell for Ugh. And he's gone. Unfortunate. Actually, no, you know, then again, he only closed his eyes. For all we know, he just lost consciousness. And, like, you know, he, he's still fine. Until he's for sure confirmed for real, for real dead, you know, I, I think, uh, we, we can, uh, hold off. <laughs> Alright, Ramona, can you give us a confirmation that he's dead for real, for real? He was protecting me. Unica? Ramona, will you please see to him? I... I had to keep moving. Huh? It was his last wish. You want me to keep going no matter what. So if you please, tend to him. I'd appreciate it. Alright. I won't try to stop you. You do what you have to do. Alrighty then. Very unfortunate. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. I'll transform him back to base in a moment. I just need to catch my breath first. As if he's just sleeping contentedly. Alrighty, however, I'm gonna go save. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll do this one. He's just going uh, wild, so you know it's serious. Oh my god! What the heck is this? Uh, do you mean the uh, leggings? I don't know where that is. <clears throat> Cause like... Because there's like this... Oops, I didn't mean to equip that. I guess because there's, like, more to, like, go through, I'd imagine that probably the leggings would be in this area. Like, unless it just makes me go fight, like, you know, the bosses, like, you know, all the way through now at this point. I'm going to imagine the leggings are probably somewhere in this area. Oh my goodness. Sucking me in only to smack me away.
What the heck is this? All right, uh, let's see. How about fire? Fire is indeed the answer. This does a lot more damage. Fire does no damage to that thing, though, which I guess makes sense. Because I already saw myself doing pretty good damage with my lightning attack. This one looks like it's pretty big. Uh, let, let's just go everywhere, I guess. Oh, well, I mean, Southwest didn't really have much. Southeast, uh, does that have anything? Yep, you, you really gotta, you know. This is how you know it's the end of the journey when they give you the opening music. <laughs> but I mean, that also happens sometimes in anime too, right? It's like you have the opening and then like they don't play the opening. <clears throat> but then like, you know, near like the season finale or something like that, when some epic shit is happening, you know, that that's when the opening starts playing and you're like, oh my god! Alrighty, what's in the chest? Boom, there you go, silver leggings. Silver dressed over leggings? Yeah, alright. <laughs> Sometimes negates enemy attacks. Oh boy, wouldn't that be nice? Alright, fantastic. Roy's Magic Necklace has the power to resurrect his wearer at the moment of death, but only once. I see, I see. I guess we'll use that for the final boss then. Alright, next time I find an angel statue, or god statue, I will level up the armor. Oh no! I'm confused! I assume the center area is probably where I need to go, so, uh, we're not going there. Oh my goodness, your homing attack? Oh, the lake are actually nullified damage that time. Like doing, I forget if like maybe doing wind attacks might be better. Let's see, actually. Okay, yeah, wind does do pretty well as well. Wind's probably the best, actually, for 
for them. Get out of here with that green shit. I'm just gonna. I think the other enemy's probably dead now. Nope, never mind. He's still here. Now he's dead. Uh, let's see. That's not a time switch, right? That's permanently active now? Yeah, I think so. Alrighty. Okay, chest there. I want that. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I missed there. That sucks. <laughs> I see. I think what I can do is like that, right? Yeah, okay. I should probably do that then. Okay, I so once I do that first one, I do the double jump, the second jump, and then do the thing. I just need to keep on spamming that thing, I guess. Well, okay, actually, also, if I was to do this, uh, it's it's like this for a very slight moment though. <clears throat> I think spamming my wind skill is probably better. There you go. Oh my god, stop pushing me! Oh my god, you son of a bitch! You push me off? There's a chest right there as well. All right, we need to get that then. Huh, that's a lot of slimes. Which I did get confused, but whatever. I'm also just a walking, cute, like mass destruction, so it's fine. All right, and more max HP. But hmm, is this the right way to go then? Seems like it. Yeah. So I think I should head back and maybe see. I think I haven't gone to the right side yet, right? So I'll probably need to check that out. Wow, he guarded all that? Hmm, I should try fire. Maybe see if that one was uh, stronger. The devil medallion. Definitely needed this. So, that is everything. Yeah, that is everything.
Well, he's over here to the right then. I imagine if I find any more chests, they're just gonna give me a bunch of SP. You know, here's like 100k SP or something. Oh. Wow. Wow. You telling me I was making it harder on myself by trying to do like tricky platforming stuff? When I could just got into actual platforms? And like, you know, the crazy part too is that like this cyclone, this wind skill, like literally gives you the ability to just reach there. <laughs> So, they didn't really have to give you this. It's good that they did, because obviously, you know, <clears throat> this makes it way easier. But you don't need it. I think I can probably get another level up before I get to the next boss. You know, given where my skill is coming from, I don't think it quite makes sense that this guy can block my attack. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is kind of a bad assortment of enemies. Alright, actually, this guy is chasing after me, though, so we can easily just do this. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Boost back. Easy peasy. Uh, I think I see why they gave me a boost max. Uh, you know, I suppose that is true. There's a decent amount of enemies here. And given that it's like basically final area, you're not going to find, I guess, other areas that give uh, a good amount of EXP. Since the earlier ones are just going to give nothing. It would probably be useful for like uh, <clears throat> the hardest difficulty, but I feel like it's probably not that needed on hard mode. That was about just like what the rate of VHP is right now. I think even right now it's not great. So I'm probably at like a decent enough level. Says this ESP gain is not amazing. Oh my god, stop jumping around. You got a shield and you're like armored. Dude, how are you moving so quickly? Yeah, if I was to grind here, it would definitely take a while to get like another level up. I 
I think at this point I'm like level 47 or 48. So, I mean, if at least normally progressing through this gives me enough for like level 50, that'd be pretty nice. But I don't think I'm going to try to like grind for it, I think. But I guess we'll see what happens. If I get pretty close right before the boss door, then I guess I might as well. Just to have like a nice even uh, level. But then again, it's possible that this thing has like multiple bosses for me to fight. And so then I might just level up in between boss fights. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see where I'm at before I reach the final boss door. So I did get the medallion. So there's definitely a door for me to insert this thing into. Actually, it might be here, huh? This might actually be the door. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yep. Alright, let's uh, get up first and save up. Okay, so let's take a look now at... Yeah, Devil's Throne, and then there's one more left. Boss, and then one more boss. <laughs> so let's go ahead and save up here. Level 48, okay. Uh, hmm. First of all, let's uh, strengthen my current leggings. There you go, that's done. And now we're just at the final parts here. You know, I bet you just increased movement speed is just gonna be like, here's point one increase, and like, that's it. <laughs> I could see them doing that. So I feel like probably having these two probably better. Increased boost recovery. Uh, boost recovery isn't actually too bad either, though. Then again, I do kind of need to make sure that... Mm. Yeah, I figured it doesn't do much. <laughs> I had a feeling. Because generally, you kind of have like the speed already. If they made this like movement speed like noticeable, uh, that'd be a really like huge increase. So I expect them to really not uh, have that much of a boost. Eh, I'll just use uh, I'll just use all these things, I guess. Wait, nope, not that one. Oh my goodness, it keeps on going higher. I thought it would just stop at level three. Let's see. I guess I could try finding the boss now, or maybe I can try to get a level up. Uh, I feel like finding the boss is probably fine. Getting a level up is probably gonna take a little while. Especially because these enemies, like, take a bit to actually kill. Oh my god, he knocked me into the loading zone! You son of a bitch! Uh, I guess for that, you actually, you get to die now. Although, I'm gonna make sure actually you're over here, just so that way you don't knock me into the loading zone again. I'm not even sure how I got poisoned, but okay. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Quit blocking. Okay, these enemies actually aren't too bad to kill, though. Probably. You know, I think I'll probably get to level 49 and then I'll just like start there because with the way I'm going right now, I don't really want to do this going all the way to level 50. But I think level 9 is level 49 is probably fine.
that first skill is definitely like extremely useful. But only because of the amount of enemies and kind of how annoying they are to kill. In this spot is. Yeah, like if I was playing on Nightmare, I would probably do that. Just because of how much harder it is. It even it was gonna take very long to, you know, grind it. But like on hard, yeah, I'm probably fine. I'm probably okay. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. What really makes it annoying is that uh, green spewing guy. That makes the floor slippery because his weakness is fire, but these other ones are not. So it's pretty annoying with the mix of uh, weaknesses there. No, it's not on nightmare. It's only on hard. I'm not crazy enough to like go on nightmare for my very first playthrough of this game. Yeah, the super boss is probably just something that you do like after you beat the final boss. You just make sure you have a you know save file that has a super boss <laughs> right next to you. Like at least when I guess how this how these games are structured, I guess they don't really let you have a uh, you know post game. Uh, gameplay or anything like that. But at least as far as I guess, you know, level wise go, <clears throat> it certainly makes the most sense. Because there's no way you can just grind out to beat the super boss and then still expect to have, like, you know, a challenging time for the final boss. Crazy that this guy can still shield my uh, lightning attack. Like, he really should not be able to do that. Especially based on like where my attack is coming from. You're shooting in front. My attack comes literally from above. If you're gonna block my attack, then at least move your shield up to above your head. Because at least then it'll make sense. These guys will give me enough EXP to level up. I think I need to, like, come back to this room. Oh, wait, maybe? Oh, no. <clears throat> Watch it be, like, one more enemy, and it'll be the one- the night that I didn't fight <laughs> when I exited out of the room uh, up on the south side. If I level from this knight, it will literally because I didn't kill that one knight uh, previously.
Okay, it was not. All right, all right. <laughs> well, actually, no, maybe it might have been, though, right? Because with the amount of enemies that I was killing, uh, I might have gotten an EXP boost. That might have actually made the one that I skipped out be enough. All right, there you go. I'm out of here. I don't really want to keep on grinding. <clears throat> it's time to finish this up. Alrighty. Let's slap this medallion in. Use the devil medallion. <laughs> the grind never ends in mobile games. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I'm back. It's time to fight for real, for real. I've been waiting for you. Alright, you did way too much damage the first time we fought. But now, it should be, uh, you know, it should be a little better. It's true, the grind does end when you stop playing them. The problem is, I still play several others. I must stop the FGO, but I still play several others, so <laughs> the grind never ends. <clears throat> Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> First, you lost your father thanks to me, and now you've had to step over the corpse of another loved one to get here. Seems I've hardened you up a bit. I find the only true path to strength is to drown oneself in the madness of battle. Sadness and confusion just fall away once the blood really starts to spill. With each death you witness, I, I'll bet you're finding it easier and easier to move on. You probably don't even flinch anymore. Maybe now you can finally live up to your family name and give you the challenge I've been seeking. Don't you dare make light of my losses. Your idea of strength and mine are completely different. Oh. My dad told me I had to face my own weaknesses before I could realize my true potential. And now I understand what he meant. He wanted me to accept them. To see them for what they really are. If I could do that, and move on anyway, then, and only then, would I find true strength. So no matter what happens, I won't run from my sorrow. <laughs> oh, he thinks this is funny. Interesting. Very interesting, Tova. But will you feel the same once you've seen this? Oh no, what's he doing? Oh my goodness. You gave in to evil. I sought the purest power there is and found that at the brink of madness. And this is the form it took. Alright, buddy. Well, you certainly do seem powerful right now. But like I said, your idea of strength and mind are completely different. Real strength comes from within. I don't need to drive myself mad to get it. I just need to accept who I am, faults and all. <laughs> Stubborn to the end, I see. If you're right, then you have nothing to fear. But if I'm right, you'll fall like a rag doll before me. Then let's find out which it is. Let me show you just how strong I've become. Well, uh, well, first I gotta see what he does. Cause you know, uh, it's been a while since I've seen his, uh, first fight thing. Oh my goodness, leg guard for the win? Took no damage. Oh my goodness, I touched the ice. You know what? I should've just tried destroying though. I probably could've done that, actually. Oh, he's, he's guarding himself. Let's see, can I destroy it? Uh, maybe if I use fire. Oh, hell yeah. Get that shit out of here. Whoa, what do you think? Get that shit out of here, man. You can't I just gonna do anything? I have fire. They really do make it, like, really tough to actually, like, fight close in, though. 
Like, it's so risky trying to fight, you know, in close quarter combat. When they can just, like, move out of your attacks, hit you back while you're doing it. And they, they truly do be making the skill spamming, you know, hit and run kind of tactic, like, really effective. Ah! What the hell? Oh no, that's actually kind of hard to dodge for me. I need to see that attack like a few more times before I actually understand. You know, this is kind of like a fun little mini game where I just try to actually have my uh, Firebird destroy as many ice as possible. Ah, uh, if he actually got finished by that burst, that would have been a really nice finisher. We're not done yet. That was too easy. He's he's gotta have another phase or something like that, I'm pretty sure. That, that was like super easy, man. Did I do it? Yeah, there you go. How are you still standing? That that's what I'm talking about. Alright, the real fight, for real, for real. <coughs> it seems I couldn't control the demonic power I took within me. And so I lose. All my effort, all the power I gained, amounted to nothing. Wait a minute, hold on, don't, don't be talking like you're, you've already lost, come on now. I have no choice but to acknowledge the strength of which you and your father speak. I guess he... I guess that was it, huh? Alright, alright. We'll have the final boss be the for real, for real, true challenge. <laughs> but you were plenty strong, too. I mean, don't sell yourself short. There are different kinds of strength, after all. Yours is just... a different variety. <laughs> You're a strange one, to be sure. I can almost see how you were able to win. Your strength is worthy, Unikatova. I feel proud to have fought you. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. This is a death befitting a warrior. I have no regrets. I don't think me being level 49 made that much of a difference. I think he really was just that easy, huh? Man, if only it was that easy, like... You know, the first time around. But you don't have the fire sword, you know, when, like, you start that fight. And then you have a freaking, like, entire, like, three minutes worth of cutscenes before and after. It's just like, bruh. <laughs> it would make the achievement so much. Like, when the achievement is really only doable by playing on the easiest difficulty while still grinding, it's like, you know, it's, it's not a great one. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna bother with it either, you know? I, it's it's not like fighting, uh, guys in Oldenfell Ghana, so it's like, nah. They could've just made it more convenient, and that would've been fine, but no. Like, it's the most inconvenient thing. You have cutscenes before and after it, so you can't even, like, retry it quickly, and... It's not really worth doing on even normal difficulty. So you gotta play on an easy difficulty while still grinding it out. It's like, bro, that is boring and time consuming. Oh, here it is the Tower Summit. I'm going to assume this isn't the final one? Because, uh, then I... Isn't there still, like, one more angel stat god statue that I need to, like, uh, you know, get? Oh, I just totally just missed it. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Tova girl... Ha! 
<laughs> I must admit, I'm surprised. I never expected a powerless child like you to be the first one up here. Am I really powerless if I, uh, you know, got all the way up here? I must have some sort of power, right? Can't the chatter, Dallas. Just release Lady Rhea and hand over the Black Pearl. I'm afraid I can't do that. They're both quite instrumental to my plans, you see. Your plans? You mean this ritual to make Solomon's shrine fall out of the sky? Why go to so much trouble to, to, to do that? What can you possibly gain from it? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? In order to make the demonic essence whole, I need the full power of the Black Pearl. And right now, most of that power is being used to keep your precious shrine al aloft. Therefore, to gain my end, your kind must lose their wings, so to speak. Wait, so you're doing all of this, manning an army of demons, killing innocent people and causing suffering on a massive scale, just so you can steal the power we're using to keep our holy shrine afloat? Well, when you put it that way, yes, that's the long and the short of it indeed. You see, only the divine power of the gods is as capable of controlling the Black Pearl. And since they're not particularly interested in redirecting their efforts, I'm left with but one course of action. You, and everyone who serves you, is a monster! Eh, yeah, that or they're dumb. Like, I mean, you know. Perhaps. But if so, I'm most comfortable in my monstrousness. And now, I must ever so delicately pluck your Lady Rhea's power from her. Soon, the demonic essence will regain its perfect form. Like hell, I won't let you lay a finger on her. Although, I'm not sure what we can do when we don't have magic. He's probably cheating with magic barriers, you know, and stuff. So it's like, if we can't even deal with that, we definitely can't get rid of that barrier. You're wasting your time. <clears throat> Remember, you're no sorcerers. You're just a little girl blindly flailing around big sharp objects. And I am behind a very solid barrier. Unica, don't. <coughs> He's taking the demonic essence into himself. Even with your father's sword, you won't be able to touch him at all. Not like this. Has it finally dawned on you just how weak you truly are? Perhaps I should give you a proper demonstration of my power, in case any doubt remains. This is what it means to be a Darkling. I mean, I'm still standing, so... Oh, snap. I'm still standing, though. It ends here, Yunika Tova. You should have known better than to set foot in my circle. Your fate was sealed the moment you appeared before me. I bid you farewell. May the next life treat you more favorably. Don't worry, I'm still alive. It's okay, man. Ah, oh, my face! But it's okay, I still live. Why? Because I'm the protagonist. What? I'm... alive? So I catch you waiting, Unica. Reinforcements have arrived! Mighty impressed that you made it all the way here on your own, though. <clears throat> yeah. It be like that. I'm kind of strong. If you please, Rhea. We must gather our power and confer it upon Yurika. Of course. On your lead, Fina. She can do that. While she's stuck in that barrier. Huh, so much for that barrier then. Can't even keep the gods' powers out? <laughs> the divine power of the goddesses. No, it's more than that. But how? Don't doubt yourself, Unica. You've never once been powerless. You've always been strong. All of our wishes, our feelings, and our strengths, we now give to you. Take them with our blessings. Lady Rhea. Lady Fina. Get that shit out of here. That's what I think about your stupid barrier. Impossible. Is it really though? Like... Like, dude. I literally have two goddesses blessing me. 
Like, is it really impossible? <laughs> Very well, then. I will not allow my aspirations to be compromised by the likes of you. Behold, my true might. Oh boy. He's releasing the demonic essence within him. He intends to transform. Oh my god, he's going to morb! Behold, the perfect fusion of man and demon. May the sight forever burn itself into your eyes. Well, I mean, let's see what happens first. Uh, well, let's see what you look like, alright? That'll depend. That, that'll be, you know, show. They'll show when, I, uh, when I'm impressed or not. You know, if you don't look cool, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. All the build up for nothing. Ah, my eyes! Now I can't see anything. Hmm. Uh, all right. You know what? I, I guess I'll give your uh, your design a uh, uh, a seven out of ten. Uh, let's see. Oh well. That, that does pretty good damage. I wonder though, how much if I use this on you? Oh, that's pretty good too. Oh. Ah, it didn't last. Oh, yeah, there's no way it's gonna last long enough when you have that leftover ice field. Oh, you know what? Well, no, this shouldn't be the final boss fight, right? I mean, if it is, then it's like, it's easy enough that it's not really that big of a deal, but... I don't think it is, so that means I can still act I can still equip my, uh, one thing. Afterwards. In case I die, but... So far, this game has not been, uh, that much harder than the previous East games. To the point where I actually need to use, like, a revive, so... Oh, I just... Oh, he's got- yeah, it makes sense he's got multiple phases, but... still. Wait, I actually don't know what the deal is with that, uh, barrier there. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, let's see. Maybe I attack the side things? Or maybe it's this thing. Nope. What the heck even hit me? Okay, this does a little bit there. Okay, so I guess I just need to match up with the uh, element then. Except, uh, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Well, that burst did nothing. Ouchie, ouch. Alright, I mean, the first part, though, is pretty easy to do, so... I just gotta figure out what to do on that second part. I should have that this be a little bit later. Oh, that was bad.
Oh, that was really bad. There was no reason for me to get hit by all that. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until that's gone. There you go. I'm sure he'll bring his barrier back up. I get the feeling that's how this phase works. Yep, there it is, right there. Oh, uh, I hope that's easy to dodge. Oh yeah, it's super easy to dodge. It's just all their shit is off screen. I should have double jumped there. Oh, that was bad. Oh, he just gets stun locked. Doing that. Oh, okay then. Alright. I feel like this should be the easiest one just because this thing gives me, you know, a little bit of uh, deflection. And it hits a pretty good amount with the uh, charge attack. I really had to go back to one more phase, huh? Ah, if only it was enough for just like three and not four. Unless it was actually possible and I just didn't do enough damage the first time around, which might be possible. You know what? If there's two of them... Oh, I'm getting sucked in! Oh no, what's happening here? Oh no, it's the freaking signature grab attack that bosses do! God dang it! <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely long enough that it is definitely like the final boss thing. The problem is I did not equip my... Uh, like revive thing, so I kind of have to do this in one try if I don't return the title. But if I return the title, I need to fight Kishko again. And I don't really feel like fighting Kishko again, even though he's uh, not too bad. He was very easy. Maybe I should. Yo, leg guard for the win!
Yeah, maybe I just didn't do enough damage uh, the first time around. Because this looks like it's enough damage for a 3 cycle rather than a 4 cycle. Ah, oh, my goodness. I was doing so well until the one bullet hit me. Ah! Oh, maybe I should jump in for that one. Oh, that was bad. I probably shouldn't have jumped there. Oh, this sucks. This doesn't do anything, but it at least gives me some infant frames. <laughs> that was not worth it, actually. I should not have done that. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, I probably need to actually have my uh, window skill. My whirlwind skill, I mean. Because I think it gives me a bit more speed, right? So I probably need to do that. Because I think if I get caught in that, that looks like an insta-kill. At the very least, by that point, I have low enough HP that, like, it, it does, certainly does enough damage to kill me. I'm getting hit a bit more this round than the previous one.
was unfortunate. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. Thank goodness I had enough match I had enough uh MP for that. Oh no, it's happening again. Do I mean I'll try I'll risk it, but I feel like it's really risky trying to do this move Because I feel like if he activates that grab attack while I'm in the middle of it. I'm probably gonna get hit anyways Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> like, I need to figure out what he does for his final phase with 22 HP left. Oh, I just instantly get hit. Ah, uh, if I had the revive thing, it definitely would be a lot easier. Ah, uh, but I'm doing this. I might actually have to just, uh... Just to make it a little bit, uh... Less time wasty. It might actually be better for me to actually just go refight Kishko and then have it equipped for this fight. do it while revised that would be something <laughs> but man with the revise make it so much easier because he was pretty much dead he just had one like phase left to go I need to time this properly. I don't want these flame things to be here. Okay, that should be good enough. There you go. 
That's good. to do against it. Okay, I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do against that laser attack. Like, like he's just blasting me with the laser. Like, what? Well, how do I avoid that? It lasts long enough that, like... Uh, okay, maybe I can try jumping on the demon's head again. Like, uh... Against Zaba, maybe. It feels finicky, though. Like, if I try to jump on a demon's head to avoid that laser. Oh, that sucked. Nah, I should just get myself killed here. I took way too much damage on this first phase here. Because if the third phase is any indication, like, if he does that laser attack, like, I... It's almost like getting hit by the grab attack. Like, I will literally just take so much damage from it. But I do wonder if I should probably just, like, retry the Kishwell fight then, because, like, this is definitely taking a lot of attempts. And I should, uh, make this easier on myself by just having the, uh, necklace. So I guess let's return the title then. <laughs> Oops. And it's easy to remember to, like, actually, uh, before I go to that very top, I just, uh, equip the necklace. Like, I get pretty much everything, I just don't understand how you actually survive that laser attack. I think if I understand that laser attack, I can probably do it without the necklace at all, but it's taking like quite a bit of time. And you know what? I feel like just uh, moving on. <laughs> and that means refighting Kishgol so that I actually remember to equip the uh, revive necklace for that, you know, final boss fight, then so be it. <laughs> Although I definitely need to make sure that once I defeat Kishgol here, I need to go back and save because I could avoid all this if I just remember to, you know, go back. I just assumed there would be a save, you know, after fighting Kishko, but I either missed it or there isn't one, and like, well, you know. Unless, of course, there's like another boss battle after fighting Dallas, in which case it's like, well, <laughs> there goes my revive. You use, uh, no revives for the true final boss fight, I guess. <laughs> I do want to like try to smack this guy some though, just to get like some more damage in. Doing the hit and run thing is definitely like safe and easy. If you know, just a little slow. Just because uh, I'm waiting for it to charge up. Ouch.
Oh, if he runs in, that'd be nice. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> it would have been nice for the extra damage. Oh, no, that freezes me. Makes sense. Oh, he literally ran into it. Ah. Uh, if he actually, like, <coughs> got hit by one more time, he actually would have died to my burst. Dang, man. That's two times now this guy almost died to my burst, but, like, not quite. This guy is just not having that nice death. It's a nice befitting death for him, a little warrior, but you know what? It's not nice for me. You're not getting hit by, like, my strongest attack. Like, I know you can mash through text by just, you know, pressing these stuff, but, like, it'd be nice if you could just have, like, a button that just skips everything. <laughs> Ease is not, I guess, that long of a game where it's not really necessary, but still. And it'd be nice if I could just hold down, like, L1 and just, like, skip everything. Because my, my L1 is marked... Is, is mapped to, like, my shift button anyways. It's like, yeah, you, you could have something like that, right? <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna say this so that we don't have to fight Kishko again. I, but I feel like there should be one more, though, right? Because, like, it's the 25th floor, and then there's something at the top here, right? Like, there should be a save at the top. But, like, I totally did not see it. <laughs> <clears throat> so the other thing I can think of is that, like, there would be some sort of boss fight after Dallas. Which would then make me having to use my revive necklace here potentially a waste. If there's just going to be an actual, like, final boss fight after Dallas. Because at the very least, I don't see the statue. Unless I missed it in the uh, outer part after these stairs. So let's see if I was actually blind or not. Ah, yeah, I was blind. I just like walked right through it. Okay, yeah. Uh, is there any sort of blessings I want to do? It's 150k, so it's like, I don't really have too much. I can have, like, boost recovery, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Alrighty. I guess it's kind of obvious, but at the same time... You know, because it's just, like, all dark and stuff... <clears throat> you can't blame me if it looks like it kind of blends into the background a little bit. Alright, but now I can actually fight the final boss with a revive necklace, and now... You know, he'll actually lose. <laughs> I got pretty close, though. It would have been nice to actually do it without the revive thing, but, like, I don't know what to do against that laser. <clears throat> like, he didn't even do it, you know, until the very end. Uh, during the, uh, my closest run. And then, like, afterwards, he just does it two times, like, super early. Like, bro, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do against the laser. <clears throat> but I guess with the amount of times I had to do, I could theoretically just end it with only Yuka's story, but I think I might actually start up uh, Hugo's as well. Since, uh, you know, might as well. Because if I was only doing Yuka's uh, story, then this game would definitely not be very long stream wise. I could end at four parts. Oh, dodge it by running? 
Hmm. Okay, I'll try that then if he does the laser thing. But yeah, given like this kind of how long this game probably is when I'm playing all three parts, I might as well just do as much as I can like per stream rather than ending it on uh like each character's story. Especially since I don't really stream like on like very many days per week. I might as well try to make the most of it on the days I do stream. Especially since unlike uh the previous East games where I did them on like Fridays to just kind of do a, like a short stream. It's like I'm, I'm obviously doing this on not a Friday. So I can afford to just stream a lot longer. Alright, let's beat this guy for real, for real. He should be pretty easy now that I actually have a revive. The, you know, the standard stuff in all these other East games have a revive for the final boss fight. <laughs> this one you can definitely do without it, but definitely I think like the previous games I had, they were a bit harder. Where uh, having a revive is almost necessary. You know, given that you can actually stand on him a little bit, I wonder if it's possible to actually also stand on his body when he does the laser attack. But I could definitely see him turning not fast enough when you're up close. So I'll try just staying close to him when he does the laser attack. The issue really is just understanding or recognizing that he's doing the laser attack while trying to also attack the... Uh, like side things to actually take his barrier off. Guards the MVP. Okay, cool. It didn't kill me. That That's good. Because I don't want to revive here. I want to revive at like a... Damn it. Got me again. 
Ah, oh, that sucks. I was hoping I could revive when, like, I already did some damage to his uh, health bar. Not here. Okay, yeah, I... I Okay, I, I do recognize the part now where he actually does start the laser thing, so I, it's just a matter of getting ready. Okay, gotcha. Yep, that was it. That was the answer. Alright, so now that I actually know, he's done. He is done for. Like, if I die here, you know, I'll, I'll understand how to do every one of his attacks. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. He even had his barrier gone and stuff, but the freaking lingering hitbox. Oh my goodness. Oh well, you're done now. I know exactly how to dodge every single one of your attacks. I mean, whether I can do it properly is a different story, but. You're not gonna get me through knowledge checks. Okay, but I'm playing badly though. Like, I'm actually just getting hit a lot by things I shouldn't be getting hit by. You had the fire coming down, and you had like all the bullets around as well. Very bad. No, it's still yeah okay <clears throat> so even if you use your burst skill if you get caught and you still get hurt by it 
Oh, that sucks. Oh shit, right, he's doing the laser. Ah, oh, damn. I wasn't looking at him at all. No, the pull is too much. God damn it. <clears throat> oh, damn. Ah, uh, I should have activated. I should have used my uh, lightning thing instead. Yeah, definitely the most annoying attack of his is that grab. The suction is just really annoying. Which seems to be like a common... It feels like a common trend anyways, because I feel like one of the annoying attacks I had from a previous East game was also just a suction move that just does a lot of damage to you. Although I feel like you had a little bit of a chance to actually uh, mitigate some damage. Because you could still kind of act during it. So you could like potentially time your uh, skill to negate a bit of the damage. This one here, they, he just... <clears throat> he just traps you, man. Just takes the Jesus Christ pose. Yo, burst with fire is actually kind of nice. <laughs> that MP regen was crazy. Why is he doing that attack again? Oh my god, he's spamming this attack? Oh my god, you're so cheap. You literally spammed that same attack three times in a row. And I just kept on getting close to it because obviously I would be. Damn it, it actually got me.
Jesus Christ. Please stay still for a little bit, you stupid heads. Oh shit, the laser. No! I realized it's too late. I'm gonna try to greed for the hits. go wait no don't oh my god you kidding me the game crashed right as i killed the final oh my god you gotta be kidding me man are you serious even when i win i lose oh my god So the only thing I'm hoping right now, right, is that like If I actually fight the boss and I beat him, I hope it doesn't just like crash I need to be able to beat the game to be able to unlock the third character Come on now My god, really? I beat the boss and then the game crashes? How many times do I have to fight this stupid final boss? <laughs> I hope this isn't like some sort of like, uh... Constant bug either. This is the only time I feel like I actually had the game crash. Like fighting a boss. So I hope it's not a thing where it's like... Oh yeah, you know, it's just a bug with this game where if you defeat the final boss, sometimes the game just crashes. So long as it's not like a consistent issue, you know, like I can beat the final boss and actually end the game, then it's, you know, like... So long as I can actually end the game, that's fine. But if it's something where I need to like troubleshoot some sort of tech problem, I'm gonna be kinda upset. <laughs> I swear, this game freaking crashes. I'm about to change the stream title to be The Boss Crashed My Game. In fact, I'll do that right now, actually. <laughs> Final Boss Crashed My Game. <laughs> Stupid ass boss. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the pose I take when I get caught by his freaking trap. game though if I didn't have uh, <clears throat> some sort of technical problem with it huh 
I guess that's just how it is when you have a game that's just uh, not quite a, a good uh, PC port. It's okay. <clears throat> Japanese devs will eventually learn, I guess. I shouldn't have gotten greedy there. on the right skill. Turns out I was not. Oops. Stop your laser.
<clears throat> did I even die that time? I don't think I did. And thankfully, the game didn't crash. Please don't crash now. I swear. If you crash now, I'm gonna uninstall the game. Water break. Hydrate yourself. <coughs> so it comes to this. My ambitions foiled by worthless, pathetic, powerless humans. I mean, let's be real here. Y you know how, like, in some competitive games, right? Y you lose someone and you'll, and you'll hear, or... People will lose to someone, and then they'll say, like, you're trash. It's like, bro, you lost to them. What does that make you? <laughs> you're wrong about us, Dallas. We may be weaker than you'd like, but we're not powerless by any means. Like, how else would I have won? I'm clearly not powerless. Our weaknesses are what make us strong. They bring us together and help us complement one another with our individual strengths. And by working together, there's nothing we can't do. <laughs> Such trite naivety. But I suppose you did defeat me with it. Just remember, humans and demons are like two sides of the same coin. Demons were born in the shadow of Ease's property, after all. As long as humans desire that which remains out of reach, the demonic essence will never die. Our kind feeds off of yours. We will always return. So it shall ever be, for all eternity, inescapably. Yeah, it's it's not really cool to laugh like that and then just die, bro. <laughs> you, you you look like you're having the final laugh, but you look so uncool <laughs> when you just plop to the ground like that. Unica, please stand back. What you see before you is the demonic essence itself. Well. Let me just take a few steps back. But, what are you going to do with it? You just leave that to us. Fina, are you ready? I am. Through the power of Harmonica, the world is saved. Whew. Thank you, Harmonica. I'm convinced. I should go learn Harmonica. It helps save the world of ease. You just need a goddess to bless Yakaku. That's all you need. Then you too can play music that powerfully. Have two goddesses bless you. Then you'll play the most powerful music. You know, it's funny how we did all this in just one tower, and yet inside that tower had, like, just different biomes. <laughs> what an interesting, mysterious tower.
But I was really hoping we would all go back to the shrine. Together. Why do you have to stay on the surface? Unica. We gave up our wings to seal away the demonic essence. And Agassi's wings aren't just a symbol of her power, but a vessel for her life's energy. Without them, our time is short. We're going to sleep soon. Likely for a very, very long time. You're going to... Sleep? I'm afraid so. And there's something we're going to need you to do for us. The seal we placed on the demonic essence is imperfect at best. <clears throat> Returning the Black Pearl to Solomon's Shrine would be far too dangerous. Even keeping it here would be inviting calamity. Once we've drifted into sleep, both we and the Pearl must be entombed deep within the earth, far from human hands. You mean... We're never... Going to see you again? You may. We will awaken again someday. And when we do, I promise, you'll be the first person we seek out. But... You don't know when that'll be! Or if I'll even still be around! I lost Dad, and I lost Roy, and I'll be losing you too. I'm so sorry, Unica. Please don't cry. We understand your request, and we shall grant it. You may count on us, both in this and in all future affairs of state while you sleep. Thank you, Father Xion. When you return to the shrine, please tell the priest what has transpired here. And give them our fondest regards. Man, I don't envy you that task one bit. Bringing news like this to the sixth priest won't be easy. Indeed, this will be a day remembered solemnly forevermore. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina, may I ask one final question? Dallas claimed that the, de the demons would never be gone for good, as long as we live. My first instinct was to dismiss that as an empty threat from a dying man. <laughs> from <clears throat> but on further consideration, I'm forced to wonder. He spoke the truth, I'm afraid. The demons are gone for now, but they will return one day. When that will be and what form they'll take, however, remains a mystery. I see. Should we prepare for that contingency then? I don't think you'll need to. I have no doubt, doubt that when and if it happens, ease will prevail. And we'll be there to make sure of it. It's time, Fina. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina! Such a sour face. Come on, Unica. At least see us off with a smile. There's a lot for you to be happy about, after all. You found your own inner strength, and shown bravery beyond the need for magic. We can't thank you enough for everything you've done. You've always been dear to us, Unica. A true friend in every way. Please, promise us. That even as we sleep, you'll always remember us fondly. You'll always think of us as friends, no matter what. The Lady Rhea, Lady Fina. Of course! How could I ever think of you as anything but? I don't know. I don't know if I will play Ease 1 and 2, you know? Maybe I'll just watch it. I don't really feel like just running into enemies. Because that's like, that's not the game was, right? You just run into enemies. And so the crisis that had brought the land of Ease to the brink of annihilation was finally resolved. Albeit impermanently. Unica and the others enshrined the goddesses in the Black Pearl deep underground, just as promised. Afterward, they began preparing to use their remaining magical energy for a return trip to Solomon's Shrine in the Heavens. You fireballed you see most of them? Amazing. Sounds like great fun. <laughs> so, you're going to sleep too, huh? I guess it will be getting pretty lonely down here. When the gods is awakened once more, then so too shall we. But until such time, I beg thee, bid me respite. Of course, sleep well, Rhoda. Farewell, daughter of Tova. Farewell, use of ease. Is everyone prepared? What? We're leaving already? Yes, since the tower fell silent, Solomon's Shrine has, be has again begun to rise. The farther it distances itself from the surface, the more difficult it will be to maintain transport. Our window of opportunity is small. I too hate to part with this land, but the fact remains, our place is in the shrine. There is nothing left for us here. You may proceed, Father Xion. 
Thank you. Dino. Aeolia, if you please. Yes, father. Right away. Please, gather within the triangle we formed. Do as you did when we first came here. The procedure is largely the same. Unica? What's wrong? Oh boy, I think I know where this is going. Well, um, we've been talking it over, and we decided to stay here. What? Are you serious? I just hate to think of the gods as being left down in that, in that dark, dingy tomb, all alone and unprotected. I want to stay close to them, and watch over them, to make sure nobody disturbs their rest. I feel like I was abandoning them otherwise. That's a noble sentiment, but... Have you really thought this through? I mean, once we're gone, you may very well never see us again. This is your one and only chance to go home. Technically, this is just as much our home as Solomon's Shrine. It's not only the gods we'd be abandoning if we left it. Ease has been thoroughly ravaged by the demons, and someone needs to take the first steps toward recultivating the land. Yeah, you kind of are completely behind Hugo on that. Someday, Solomon Shrub will find its way back to the surface. And when it does, we want to be here to meet you. And we want East to be as beautiful as it was back when we were little kids. We're gonna make this barren land shine again. After all, this is Ease. Our Ease. Well, I guess you really have thought it through. I don't think I ever heard you four sound more determined. It seems we all have our parts to play. They're just on different stages. I hope our absence doesn't cause any undue difficulty for you. It's times like this, it's times like this that I miss being a headstrong young man. Yudika Tova, Holy Knight of Ease, I have one final order for you before we depart. Sir? Watch over the goddesses on our behalf. We'll be much too far away to watch over them ourselves, after all. Yes, sir. It won't be easy down here, you know. I hope you're ready for some hardships. I will personally deliver the news of this decision to your families and loved ones, if I may. Thank you, Cecilia. That would be great. And don't worry, Ramona. We're ready for this. I don't know how I can ever repay you all for everything you've done. I'll miss you. And I'll never forget you. Come. Our time is short. Dino. Aeolia. We must begin the spell. Yes, father. Understood. Goodbye! Maybe see you sometime! You know, you ever really thought about floating islands? They, they seem like they'd be kind of scary. <clears throat> I guess it's like they're sufficiently big, you know? There's really not too much of a worry. And I guess it's really not that much different from like... You know, being close to like a cliff. You know, or like the ocean or something like that. <clears throat> but I just can't help but think that it's like, man... You're on a floating island and you just like... You know, walk off the edge, like that's it, you know? But you don't get to like fall from like... a cliff height, you fall <laughs> from like thousands upon thousands of uh, meters you know, uh, in the sky all the way down, it's like, bro, that'd be scary but I mean, again, you know, if it's like sufficiently big you probably don't have to worry about it, because you're probably living like very, like, in the center and not like at the edge, so you never really have to worry about that but it's always, uh, you know that's always a problem But at the same time, not really that much different, I guess, from living on Earth. You know, you drop off this cliff, for example, you're pretty much doomed, too. Although, you might survive this, depending. If you fall from a floating island, you're, you're pretty much, uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. 
I guess so long as the island isn't small. Whatever, man. But now that we're done with Unica's story, it's time to see how Hugo's story plays out. Since Unica has played pretty much like a standard, like, East game, where, you know, you just play like... Adel Kristen. You just go around with your melee attack, and you just use your skills, and they're all very, you know, familiar. Your whirlwind skill, your fireball sp skill, and the lightning is like, you know, a little bit different from like the one that I had with, um, you know, where it's like, well, the one invincibility one, at the very least. I don't remember what Ultim Felgana's was like. But, I mean, you know, similar enough. If you played the previous ones, you, then you're already kind of familiar with how these skills work out. But, you know, you can't just have the exact same gameplay playing as Hugo, especially because he is one that can use magic. So, I'm curious to see how his side of the game will play out now. The tackle part was a little weird, honestly. It's like, it, it's kind of nice. It's, it... Like, it moves you a little bit, so I guess it can kind of help you avoid danger, and it does have, like, that invent, but at the same time, like, trying to do, I guess, damage sometimes because of the movement. You know, like, sometimes you may you might want to stay in place, but, you know, you, you have to move. <laughs> so, yeah. Yuka's clear data has been saved. There you go. You cannot be using time attack mode. I'm getting so many achievements, man. <laughs> At the same time as I end the title screen, you may select your character and difficulty level. Toll can now be used in story mode. He will appear on the character select screen when starting a new game. Alrighty. Oh yeah, it was a uh, shotgun, huh? Boom, there he is. Energy firing mage, slow speed, long range. Berserker, fast, close range. Experts only. Hmm. As, and assuming that we're fighting the same bosses, right? That's gonna be a little rough, actually, because a lot of the bosses I I fought were really just using spells or skills from like far away. So that's yeah, this one probably is experts only. <laughs> but I'm gonna go through it anyways. But before we go for Toll, we need to go with Hugo, and we'll do hard as well. I don't think it'll be that too bad. Daddy. Oh no, we're hearing the French again. It's the exact same thing, right? Like, I can just skip this. I'm skipping it. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna skip the... We, we've seen this already. <laughs> Hugo, you should go to the surface as well. You are to determine the whereabouts of the goddesses and bring them back safely to Solomon Shrine. With the eyes of fact by your side, this should not be a difficult task. But there is something else you must do as well. <clears throat> it will not be quite so easy. Ugh. Looks like I made it to the surface, and I'm still alive. But, what just happened? Did the transport spell fail? No, it had to be something more than that. An impact like that was not the result of a mere accident. Is that... Roll the tree, the younger brother. Indeed, it's a roller tree. A tree with a soul, born of the gases. I suppose that explains why this is the only place around that's not thick with poison gases. 
Still, it's a miracle this tree has managed not only to survive, but to thrive all this time, amid such desolation. Young man. Young man! That voice. Rhoda, is that you? Indeed. I am one of the twin Rhoda trees given life by the goddesses. You are from Ease, are you not? Yes, that's right. My name is Hugo. Hugo Fact. Oho, a descendant of House Fact. That explains the power I sense from you. It has been many years since last I spoke with one of your line. Perhaps around 50 or so. I don't mean to be rude, but I really don't have time for idle chatter right now. I'm here in search of Lady Rhea and Lady Fina. Have you seen either of them? They vanished without a trace from Solomon's shrine a few days ago, and no one's heard from them since. The goddesses. Yes, I did catch sight of them. About three days ago. So it's true then, they came down to the surface. Do you know where they went? And if they're alright? I cannot answer the latter question, I'm afraid. But I do still sense their presence, albeit faintly. There can be no doubt. They are inside that foul tower. I was afraid you might say that. That tower is said to be a veritable nest of demons. What the hell could those two want in a place like that? You are going after them, then. I sense that your companions are not far from here. Perhaps you should regroup first. No, I must go now. There's not a moment to lose. If the others come here, please let them know that I've gone to the tower. Tell them that's where the gazes can be found. My, my. Such an impatient lad. But then, he's up the fact line. I just hope my worries are for naught. So, like, all these guys' stories line up, like, properly, right? There's not, like, uh... You know, by playing on Hugo's side, there's like some things that actually doesn't quite happen in uh, Unica's side. Like it actually all fits in, fits in pretty well. Presumably, that is the case, because it's Falcon we're talking about. Since as far as gameplay goes, it's like, I don't think they're just going to make you fight like, you know, Bunch of different bosses, so I'm pretty sure we'll have some of the same bosses. I don't know how that works out when on Unica's side, at the very least. I definitely fought them by myself. Like, like I'm pretty sure at the very least I'll fight like maybe one different boss over on Hugo's side, but it's like I don't really know if they can really make all the different bosses. Like, unless no, that doesn't work. Eh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I guess it's uh, Hugo this time. Hmm. What? Hugo Fact, is that you? Got to see you in one piece, father. I'll take care of these beasts. You go help the others. Much obliged. All right, you two. Let's take these things down. All right. Let's see how Hugo plays out. How dare you filthy beast tread upon our land, if power is what you seek. Then allow me to introduce you to my eyes of fact. Alright, these are Hugo's basic movements and attacks. So let's see, shoots bolt up energy in the direction Hugo's facing. Yep, leaps into the air. Mm-hmm. Fire energy bolts in midair. Power shot. So I immediately have to come into a stop. Launches a more powerful bolt of energy. Okay. This also randomly lowers the target's defense. Alright then. I'm so glad I have turbo. <laughs> Yo, this is cheap. 
This is so cheap. You kidding me? Bro, having turbo on is so great. It's amazing. Although, yeah, once you start shooting like this, you can't like jump. All right, let's see uh, his uh, dash attack. Hmm. Well, because it's range, it's that not too bad actually. I think I could definitely see myself potentially utilizing this a little bit more because I can actually hit enemies from afar. So I'm not like trying to do a lunge attack uh, close to enemies. Oh dang, he gets double eyes. Eyes back will increase in number and their attack range will expand. He will take only half the damage, yep. Yo, this is cheap, honestly. Like, like the fact that I have turbo on, this just. <laughs> I can't believe I'm playing a shoot 'em up now. <laughs> huh. Is that all you've got? I heard there were imposing creatures am amongst the invading demons, but it seems these were not they. Much appreciated, Hugo. Father Shion. And you two are? I am Aeolia, an acolyte of Solomon Shrine. Thank you for your help. I too serve as an acolyte. The name's Dino. And you're Hugo Fact, it would seem. I've heard a lot about you. They say you're a magic prodigy. And from what I've seen here, I'm quite convinced they're right. Yeah, I know, right? You see all those, uh, you know, bullets I was shooting out? I was going crazy. No, I'm still but a novice. At any rate, may I ask why you three are here? And where are the other members of the search party? I wish I knew. All I can say for certain is that the transport spell which carried us here was interrupted. Interrupted? By the demons, you believe? Most likely, yes. Aeolia and I were the ones controlling it. Then suddenly, out of the blue, the magical barrier which held us was struck by some massive force. It caused such disruption, we could no longer hold the spell together. I see. And the attack came from this tower, I assume. It did. And that's why we're here, to get to the bottom of this. But what of you? What brings you to this accursed place? Ah, yes. Well, you see. What? The goddesses? Here? What could have compelled them to come to such a dangerous place? So, that's the size of things, is it? This makes matters more urgent. We must get in contact with the others as soon as possible. Can I leave that up to you, Dino? Yes, father. I'll begin a search of the perimeter, starting with the royal tree. And what will you do? Given the welcome we received, I think it'd be prudent to wait until the whole party's been gathered, then move as a group. No, I would believe it would be best if I were to go on ahead and survey the area alone. If the rabble we just fought was the worst this tower has in store, I don't anticipate any difficulty. As you wish. But please do take this with you, at least. Receive the crystal! Heck yeah! Yeah, uh, like, <clears throat> from all the East games that I've played so far, which isn't much, it's only the third one, you know, I enjoy my time with all of them so far. So, they're, uh, they're bangers, for sure. An item of magic? Allow me to demonstrate its power. Well, I mean, I already know, but yeah, sure, go ahead. What's this? Those by the demons? We initially thought that to be the case, but it would seem not. Watch closely. Shion took out a crystal, identical to the one he gave Hugo. Purify! Purification! It's... a goddess statue. I suspect that all the goddess statues left behind on the surface were brought here, then cursed in a similar fashion. Why this was done, one can only speculate, but there are likely others to be found here. You should be able to use that crystal to purify them, just as I've done with this one. I see. That could prove beneficial indeed, given the power of these statues. But that isn't the only magic the crystal holds, it would seem. 
Indeed not. It can also be used to transport you instantly to the foot of any god statue. At least any that's been purified in this manner. I pray that it will be useful in your reconnaissance. Understood. I'll make sure- I'll be sure to make good use of it. Take this as well, Hugo. See you at the Lila Show! And this would be... for long-range communication, no? Yes, it will allow you to contact us no matter where you are. I intend to give one to each member of the search party upon our arrival, but obviously those plans were disrupted. Indeed. A very useful tool to have, though. I will keep it safe. If that's all then, I'm going to head up into the tower proper. We'll be waiting here for the others. Come back if you find anything. And remember, the demons built this tower, so there's no way of knowing what awaits us here. Please, exercise caution. Alrighty, first things first, let's get ourselves saved up. Well, I guess we can talk a little bit. Uh, let's see, anything particularly new? I kinda already know about this stuff already though, so I don't think I'm gonna ask about that. Alrighty, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll have Paige Shu be Hugo stuff then. Boom, there you go. Alrighty then, <laughs> let's... Let's see what happens. <laughs> Cause I have turbo buttons, so... <laughs> but honestly though, it's it's a good thing to have turbo here. I can't imagine spamming X attack, spamming your attack constantly, like, for the sake of your hands, just use turbo. Oh, they, they don't get it. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't really pay attention to the enemies in the tutorial, but like, yeah, okay, they don't actually, uh... It's staggered. Okay, it makes sense though. I, that's a... Yeah, I can agree with the balancing of this. For sure. Because Unica, you can... Hit them. You're, you're up close, which is dangerous. But she does stagger them. So, generally speaking, you're... Mostly safe. Here you can fight in the safety of range, but you can't stagger enemies. Okay, okay. Not too bad, though. Alright, now that I know what this actually does, because I actually used it before. I should have actually looked at it the first time. Like, I got this, and I just assumed I just knew what it did, but that was dumb of me. Not that it's a big deal, because it's only 2 max HP. And it's not like I wasn't really in any danger. But it is dumb just to leave out 2 max HP. So, use that immediately. This is pretty silly, though, I gotta say. Just, just doing this. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Let's get our first skill. Strange. This appears to be one of the sacred artifacts of ease. But why is it here? Either way, it's better off with me than it is with the demons. Acquire Serum Flabulum. A surge of power burst forth from the artifact. <clears throat> Here goes grand use of the force shield skill. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the game magic will transfer into base mechanisms of a new pass. No attack, damage low, skill attack, damage high. So this one. When the force shield is active, gravity will have less pull on Hugo, allowing him to glide gently through the air. Okay. A double strength force shield. Okay, well, I'm starting two strikes on an enemy. Okay. Impressive. I wasn't expecting to hold so much so much power. Perhaps this construction was built to harness that power in some way. Or siphon it. I doubt it's the only one of its kind here. I have to keep my eyes open for any others. Okay, so. Okay, so it just it just works. I don't have to do anything, it looks like. Alright, let's uh, charge a skill up then. Oh wait, I can't because I don't have the uh, emerald. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, that definitely uses up a lot more, but it makes sense. Admittedly, I was kind of expecting, like, an offensive spell, but... Yeah, given that you don't actually, uh... Make these enemies have any sort of hit stun whatsoever, like get knocked back. It makes sense to actually give you a defensive spell. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing too, though, right? Range is, uh, it does look to be pretty strong. And then they give you, uh, <laughs> a force shield. It's like, <laughs> they, they, it, it do be sounding kind of busted. Y'all see me accidentally, like, do, uh, the, a little bit of, like, a, a shot, it looks like. And... That is not intentional. I think it's just the game, like, because I move so slightly. And, like, it has a turbo thing. Occasionally, the timing just happens that I think it just does that. But I'm not actually doing it on purpose, you know? It's just... The turbo bun, and then just me just holding ever so slightly. Which, I mean, you know, like, I also need to adjust my directions a little bit occasionally, which also means that sometimes that just comes out accidentally. I'm not sure that's gonna be a, a problem, but we'll see, I guess. Although, honestly, I do think that, uh, the melee stuff is probably a bit more fun, I guess. This is definitely gonna be easy. Or at least, like, it... It just looks easy. But it doesn't quite have, like, a nice feel, you know? Okay, but I walked right into it. But the fact that a trap was even set at all means... No, there's no sense drawing on it. I just need to make my way back to that room. And then find some means of countering the spell long enough to get through. Alright. It's really funny though. <laughs> I'm just running around, just constantly shooting. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It really is just because I have turbo on, honestly. Like, if I had to just constantly spam the button for this, this would be really annoying. But because I can just hold the button down, it's so funny. Like, this is... Somehow, this is just comedy. It's unintentional comedy. Like, it's just... <laughs> like, just look at Hugo, you know? He just... Yeah, man, you, you just spam that, man. I'm actually slightly moving forward every time as well. Huh, interesting. Like, at the very least, right, like, generally, <clears throat> it's a good idea to just, like, play, or at least keep distance, just to kind of see what enemies can do. But the fact that I can actually attack them while essentially seeing what they're doing, it makes this really strong. No chance. No chance whatsoever. I mean, these enemies would be easy to fight anyways, even playing as Unica. But it's just like... Now, now it's just like, technically even easier. <clears throat> like, it's a good thing I don't have hit stun on these enemies, because, oh boy, if I did, it's over, man. Dude, 
these enemies, they, they have no chance. The worst part, definitely, though, is the aerial attacks, because you can only do, like, a few shots, and then you basically have to stop and fall. I still have no idea why sometimes I can just move, like, really fast. You see how fast I was just moving there? I don't know why that happened. Legitimately, I have no idea why. I don't know if I'm just, like, doing something where it's, like, the game... ...thinks I'm moving in, like, two directions at once somehow... ...that gives me, like, a speed boost or something like that. I have no idea, honestly. But that speed at which I was moving at was, like... Just as fast, if not faster, than like dash speed, which is crazy. Roll up fruit. There you go. Why did Why did my spell like break when I opened that chest? <laughs> I feel like it should have uh, stuck around, man. This is me now. This is my life. Just holding down this button. Uh, I forget actually which one was the right place to go and which one was the wrong way to go. Because I want to make sure I get everything. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can always just come back here. But it's been a while since I've been uh, to this first area. Oh, okay. I definitely need to kill these guys at the very least. Boing. There you go, Emerald. Yeah, now I can charge it up. Let's see now. So with this, I can actually have it take two hits. I guess if you still want to fly up close range, you can always do it with this skill. I think just got caught in the... Okay, I'm going to assume that's not too much of a problem. <laughs> Acquire Blue Moon Chris. What? What in the world are you? A demon? No, this is no ordinary demon. Which means this must be a Rue, one of the sacred beasts of ease. Poor things must have been transformed into demons by the noxious gases outside. <clears throat> I'm truly sorry for what happened to you, but if you're intended to attack me... Oh, you know what? I should have turned on the, uh, thing to, uh, see what they say. Since I've already gone through this one, so I might as well just, like, see what they actually say. <laughs> 
I have no idea what you're trying to say. If Rico were here, he might be able to understand you, but I'm simply at a loss. I understand that, though. Are you hungry? Is that it? Yes, your stomach told me as much. Hmm. I believe the Rue are known for their love of Rota fruit. Is that? It is. It's a piece of Claria ore. Hugo's wand has been strengthened. Alright, now my Razor becomes even more powerful. Heck yeah, man. What just happened? Ah, I see. You used magic to refine it on the spot and infuse my wand with its essence. Not bad at all. Seems even demon transformation can impede those famous root talents I've heard so much about. I appreciate the help, little one. You're as kindly as they say. Uh, do I actually have it in here? Mm, no. I guess it's in the config files or something. Well. Oh, there are still some characters that I'm missing, which I guess I'll see uh, either playing as Hugo or playing as Toll. But well, that's a good amount already. That's like I'm still missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more characters. Wow. Let's see. I imagine maybe some of these are enemies because they're not bosses, right? All right. Some of them will be enemies, some of them will probably be bosses. That's a good amount that I'm missing as well. Alrighty then. Strength plus 29 now. Did this thing change color, actually? I, I did not really... Maybe it didn't, maybe it did, I don't know. But I'm definitely doing more damage, that's for sure. Which I should, but... Yeah! 15 to 17 damage? I like that. I already can't wait to get my final upgrades for this thing. Maybe do tons of damage. I was just curious as to- well, it's probably still like a fireball spell, and it's probably still like some sort of, uh... Well, maybe it's like a lightning blast or something. Alright, let's go insert this, uh, thing in. I think the only thing that sucks is just that, like, you can't, like, immediately, uh, jump, I guess, while you're blasting this thing. Like, there is a little bit of delay before you can actually, uh, jump after attacking. I swear, every time I play as Hugo, like, you know, and from, uh, you know, this stream and next stream onwards, I'm just gonna just laugh so much. <laughs> just having to constantly blast this. <laughs> All right. First boss fight. Who knows? He is a sorcerer, so maybe he has some kind of spell to hide himself. Heh, <laughs> you shouldn't waste any time getting his pasty ass away from us, did he? Still can't figure out what the deal is with this mask he dropped, though. Who are you people? Huh, another sorcerer. It's like an infestation. 
And this one's a regular stuffed shirt too. Probably the dull and humorless type. I don't appreciate having to repeat myself. Who are you? There should be no humans left on the surface aside from our own search party. Did you come here from outside of ease? <laughs> what a question. Where the hell is we gonna come from, dumbass? Hey, Kishiko. You mind if I do the honors? Losing that run to the trail pissed me the hell off. I gotta go for a good kill right about now. Do what you want. I'm not interested in fighting sorcerers. Hey! Sorry, pal. I'm the one you'll be fighting. Not really, though. <laughs> Opponent's a name and combat's my game. I'm a master of the shrine, as you'll soon be learning firsthand. I figure three points are better than one, you know? Oh, wait, are you actually fighting me? You're not just gonna summon a demon? Ugh, you sorcerer types are really annoying, you know that? You're all stoic and moody, acting like you're so much better than anyone else. Well, I was told to kill everyone except the gazes, and let me tell you, I'm really looking forward to this. Heh. <laughs> the hell are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. It's just that you sized me up rather quickly and decided you didn't like me. I impulsively did the same to you. See, I can't stand women who talk too much. On top of that, your sense of style is severely lacking. You're trying is laughably cheap looking, and you seem overall unintelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's kind of speaking some facts, she do be kind of dumb. I gotta say, I already you know fought her as Unica. She she kind of not smart. Epona, was it? If you're going to fight me, just get it over with. This should prove most educational for you. You son of a bitch. Think you're hot stuff, huh? Well, I'll knock some sense into that smug head of yours. Oh, okay, I'm actually fighting her instead of the demon. Calling me surprise. Oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah, the movement is gonna be a little weird. I think what's also gonna hurt me a lot is just me accidentally, uh, because I'm using the turbo thing. Like, if I just, like, change my direction and the game decides that's, like, a, uh, me attempting a lunge attack kind of thing, it, that might actually just get me killed. Wow. That was easy. Ugh. <laughs> Looks like you're the one who got some sense knocked into you. Acquired the Mask of Eyes, which was rarely used. I really did not use this, like, past the first stage. Another magic infused relic from Ease. Damn you. I'm impressed you're able to move so swiftly after what you've just been through. Whatever savage trial you came from must have put great value on training one's constitution. I'm no savage, you asshole. I'm a Darkling, and proud of it. Darkling? Ah, oh, shit. I came for the lost your promise ass like you. I must underestimate your abilities, because I sure as hell didn't over overestimate mine. Personally, I'd say your abilities aren't as well honed as you think. If they were, you'd have known right away that you were simply no match for me. Well, you just gotta come back for everything, don't you? How about we go for a second round? Then you'll see what I can really... Hmm... What is it now? You... Look an awful lot like him. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but I swear I can see a resemblance. To whom are you referring? Never mind. I'll let you off easy. For now. Just be ready for what's coming to you next time we meet. Well, there she goes. Huh. I guess she doesn't pose much of a threat, so there's no need for a frantic chase. But still, if she's a Darkling, then that all but confirms everything Father said. He really is here somewhere. A 
Acquire the bronze key. These guys don't really give any HP. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I believe this is the base, right? I can just get myself saved real quick. Alrighty. Uh, I guess do that. Thing, one thing I'll do for sure this uh, playthrough because I'm eventually gonna grab it anyways <clears throat> I'll grab the environmental uh, damage early so that way uh, I'm going to assume I'm gonna fight a similar boss as Unica where there'll probably be like environmental damage like you know lava or something I can just kind of make myself take less damage whenever I fight that boss I might need to actually just have, uh, on boss fights, I might need to actually use the regular attack rather than the turbo, just so that I can actually for sure, uh, intentionally use the lunge attack if I want to, rather than just, like, you know, doing this. Because I didn't really mean to do it, but just because of the turbo button, it just happens if I just happen to accidentally time it correctly. <laughs> Which is certainly something to say. I accidentally timed it correctly. Alright, I know that's where I need to go, but I think... Is there something over the, to the left? Oh, well, whatever. Let's just uh, equip it then. <laughs> Hugo? Hugo, is that you? Uh... Wh who? Hugo removed the mask of eyes from his face. <laughs> Rico. Rico Gamma. Thank the gods that you're safe. I've been so worried about everyone. What with that transport spell bursting and flinging us all over creation? I'm glad to see you're safe as well. But why are you this far into the tower already? Did Father Xion send you to accompany me? Hmm? I'm not sure I follow. Lady Ray and Lady Fina are in here? I had no idea. <clears throat> I just happened to be lying in a heap in front of this tower when I woke up. There were demons all around me and I was choking on all the nauseous vapors outside. So I figured I'd take my chances in here. But of course, those same two thugs you encountered caught sight of me and gave chase. And so here I am, hiding behind a wall. And an excellent hiding place it is. They were thrown off your trail entirely. Though I must say, you really do have the most run luck. <laughs> ah. You've injured your leg. From a chase, I assume. Yeah, one well, of them managed to get in a lucky hit. Don't even know which one. All I felt was a sudden intense pain. I guess ironically, all that did was make me run faster. Which was really quite unpleasant. I got some healing magic on it though, so it'll be fine in a little while. But I won't be able to walk on it for the time being. Well, you should be safe here, at least. Just try to keep quiet and rest. Let the magic do its job. In the meantime, I'll continue working my way up the tower. And don't worry, I'll make certain Father Xion knows you're here. Much obliged. So, you wouldn't happen to know who those people chasing me actually were, would you? I didn't recognize either of them, nor was their clothing anything I've seen before. I'm not entirely certain on the details myself. Oh, on the details, but I am quite convinced that they came from outside of Ease. And they too seem to be seeking the goddesses. Outside of ease? I wasn't where people actually lived anywhere else. The thought never even crossed my mind, in fact. That information doesn't really help us much, though. The only important thing we know about them is that they're hostile. Which means we need to find Lady Ray, Lady Ray and Lady Fina before they do. Yeah, I think that's a given. 
Oh, hey, before you go, I have something you might want to take with you. The blue necklace, we have it again. Isn't this your family's charm? Right, my father loaned it to me. It's supposed to have the power to ward off evil. As long as you're wearing it, enemy magic, like that trap spell you described, should have far less of an effect on you. Ah, I see. That sounds most useful indeed. You have my thanks. I sure hope Musha and Kadena are okay. Aren't you worried about them, Hugo? I suppose. More Musha than Kadena, though. Kadena can hear herself just fine. But Musha. Honestly, I don't know why she volunteered for the search party in the first place. What's with the look? Oh, nothing. I was just marveling at what a contradiction you are. So smart in so many ways, yet totally oblivious in others. What? Oblivious how? Ah, <sighs> never mind. Based on what you told me, there's a good chance Musha and Kadena have already made their way into the tower. When you see them, just make sure you don't talk down to Musha, alright? <laughs> it's hard not to when she's constantly messing up. Well, well, well. Just a dumb boy. <laughs> he just like me for real, for real. All right. Anyways, let's uh, equip this. Actually, I'm gonna go grab that real quick. It's not much, and I can definitely get more stuff later on, but whatever. It's here now. I might as well grab it. It'll help me get some of... Or at least one of these blessings, I guess. Well, that takes, that takes care of that. I'm a bit shocked to find such sophisticated magic being used in this tower, though. I wonder if those outsiders were responsible for it. Or perhaps it was... Him. <clears throat> Hugo? Musha. Hey. Hugo, it's really you. Praise the goddesses. I was so afraid something might have happened to you. Oh, come now. How fragile do you think I am? I'm more concerned about you. Where did you land? Did you have any trouble getting to the tower? <laughs> no, I made it okay. Fortunately, I was with her the whole time. So you're in one piece as well, Kadena. More or less. Misha and I woke up not far from one another. Dino managed to track us down, and we only just arrived here a short while ago. Good to see his efforts are bearing fruit. So, Hugo, is it really true that Lady Ray and Lady Fina are in this tower? It would seem so, yes. But they're not the only ones. Huh? Wow. People from outside of Ease. That definitely makes the situation more urgent. We need to discuss this matter with Xion and form a more organized plan of attack. It may even benefit us to get in touch with the six priests if time and circumstances permit. I'll leave all that in your capable hands. Meanwhile, I intend to continue scaling this tower. Hugo, will you be all right on your own? Of course. I'll try to get as much information as I can until everyone's been assembled. Well, can I go with you? I've got healing magic after all. It could come in pretty handy if you get into a bind. I believe that surface would be better afforded to Rico, given his injuries. With your aid, I'm certain he'll, he could be back on his feet in no time. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Man, is he ever clueless. He's just the dumb boy. <laughs> okay then, I guess that settles that. We'll go help Rico recover, then reconvene with Xion. You be careful in here, alright? I will. You two do the same. I'll see you later, Hugo.
slowly but surely. It seems the search party is taking shape once more. Once the Holy Knights have started combing this place, it'll be tough for me to keep moving without constant interruption. I need to make as much progress now as I possibly can. Yeah, you know what? If I, like, didn't have turbo set up, I probably could not stand playing as Hugo. But thankfully, I do. <laughs> They're just standing there blocking my attacks, but, like, they still get hit by <laughs> I would like this guy to fall down, though. I don't want to keep on, like, jumping to attack him. Yeah, you really have to mash a lot as Hugo, right? <clears throat> so I'm really glad that you can just set up turbo with steam input. Yeah, it's so good. It's a little, like... Hmm. Alright, Leather Grease. Like, it would be kinda... It, it would make it easier, but it would also be kinda... Well... I can see it kinda not working out properly. But if we could have, like, auto-aim as well. <laughs> that would be not bad as well. <clears throat> Bro, he just tries to block, and like, it just doesn't work. He still just gets hurt. What an idiot. <laughs> Although, with Hugo constantly moving towards an enemy, that could be potentially a little problematic. Potentially. <laughs> uh, Hugo is so funny. Like, it certainly is slower, for sure. But, it is pretty safe. It's pretty funny. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go to the room on the right. I think that one is fine. Yeah, cause I can get a chest here. A beast medallion. Beast mode, baby! What a ghastly medallion. Must be a key of some sort. They literally just stood there. Oh no, he actually hit me. Oh my god. Okay, I should move out of the way though if I see them uh, about to strike, because it means that they are in range at the very least. Uh, shoot, which one was the correct way so I know not to go there? I forget it was left or right. Okay, left was a switch.
Flying enemies continue to be one of the worst, because there's just no good way to stay in the air hitting them. Wait a minute, my thing can actually get, get caught on those things. No, my power! Okay, so this can be a problem. Bro. What do you mean it doesn't just teleport to in front of me? Why would I ever want my thing to be stuck? Are you kidding me? Look at this! Why would I ever want that, ever? Well, okay, okay. Well, hold on a second here. I, I, I say that, and it literally just gave me a really good application of me able to attack an enemy while I was completely safe. But, I can't just, like, purposefully do that. You know? So I feel like it would be a lot better if the things could just teleport to me, like, every time. Seeing Hugo jump is also kind of funny. Right, it's like, you know, for someone like Unica, where it's like, you know, obviously is what you have to do to be able to hit, like, you know, airborne enemies and stuff like that, you would think that Hugo could just aim up. I don't know why that just isn't a thing. Like, I could just aim up, bro. The same with the, same thing with the eyes, right? Like, they could just aim up. So it just makes having to jump as Hugo like kind of amusing. There we go. I'm actually pretty close to a level up. I might actually just kill a bit more enemies and then I'll actually go in and fight the boss. Might as well, right? Like, I'm so close. Let's go uh, save real quick. Level 7. Let's get ourselves to level 8. I don't know if there... No, there probably isn't regular enemies spawning in here, huh? Well, let's see. Yeah, so... I'll have to actually go down the hallway to find a bit more enemies. Got my level up, let's return back to the beast chamber. I'm gonna go save, so I don't have to see that cutscene again. Alright, the Beast Chamber. This one was pretty easy when I was playing as Unica, but uh... Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> this is a much larger room than I expect to find here, and completely empty no less. Which means it's probably a trap. The enemy is most likely to come from... Above! Can't say this is quite what I was expecting. You must be one of the six enormous demons that attacked Ease. Well, you've met your match, demon. I had the eyes of fact on my side. And it's time I put them through their paces. Oh no, this thing blocks my attack. Not like this.
certainly takes you a while to be vulnerable. Interesting, this thing doesn't actually take up my uh, thing. I can actually just walk all the way through it with my uh, shield. Oh, oops. Right, there are regular enemies here. Oh no! He's gonna bite me! I should have activated my skill. Getting up this guy's arm is probably the most annoying thing. Well, no. The most annoying thing is definitely just like the, uh, the slippery stuff. I was hoping I could actually have gotten uh, his thing down while my boost was still up. Oh, I guess it's fine. I think I'm capped to doing a quarter of his health every time anyways. Got that off in time. Oh. Yeah, no problem, man. So long as I have enough MP, it's totally fine. No, go up. No, it's because of the stupid arm thing. Yeah, see, that's the... It might actually be the worst part. <laughs> At least playing as Hugo, that might actually be the worst part, just getting off his arm. You should be dead already, buddy. Now you're done for. Yeah, I do see the game actually occasionally goes into red. I probably should have actually lowered it down. But we're kind of like this far into the stream now that it's like, I'll just leave it as is. I'll probably need to remember to lower it down slightly for next time though. Well, that was a bit more of a struggle than I anticipated. Those outsiders are capable of controlling demons like that. No, again, I mustn't dwell. What else can do us no good? I need to proceed onward. The gods must be found. Heck yeah, man. Let's move on. And unlike uh, the first time I fought this boss, thankfully OBS didn't like have to reconnect or anything like that. So I can actually just not redo the boss fight. <laughs> the Flooded Prison. Alright, there you go. Saved it up. Let's continue moving forward.
It's funny, them like jumping around like that actually makes them vulnerable to my spell, to my shooting. I should probably use his, uh, launch tag, actually. Oh, wait. Uh, shoot. I probably go left? I think left was probably just to get something. Right is probably the right way to go. Oh my goodness, my eye is stuck here! Although it doesn't seem like I can actually get like multiple hits off. Maybe I can, I don't know. Alrighty, got the silver bracelet. I can now dash. Let's go. Fast boy. The dumb fast boy now. Actually, I could see using the walk for Hugo now, actually. That way you can move and attack. But not like this this sort of speed. Some of these kind of more enclosed spots, it is gonna be a little awkward playing as Hugo. Oh my goodness. I swear I didn't make that because of the enemy. Uh oh, it's these guys. Alright, these guys I'll happily fight from range. Someone this up real quick. Ebony robe. All right. Let me go equip that right now. Gotta give myself some more defense.
I think starting off with Unico is probably a smart decision that they had for, uh... Just like, you know, like, she's the first one that the game just kind of lands on. So you have a more, like, proper ease, uh, you know, first time gameplay. You don't have to, you can obviously play as Hugo, but it's just like... I think starting off with Unica is probably more fun. So it's like, you're gonna go through the game once, going as Unica is probably the best call. Like, I can't imagine playing this game, like, outside of Steam, that doesn't have, like, a turbo function, uh, playing as Hugo. It would just be too much. Playing as Unica, though, totally fine. Oh, now this is the kind of... Yeah, that's the kind of situation. I don't mind. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, that little bit of delay that you have before you can actually jump after shooting is also, like, a little weird. I can definitely see myself getting hurt if you're trying to, like, constantly attack and then, like, quickly jump out of the way. I guess we'll, we won't bother with them. We need to actually get, uh... ...the scales first to deal with them. I guess I should activate my boost, actually. Really, no need to save it. But, oh. Speaking of save... We'll save our game. Uh, I'm at 2.4k right now. Let's see, damage from terrain is 4,000, so that's gonna be a while then. Wait, I can strengthen the ice effect? What the heck, man? I didn't know that. That's gonna be for a while, though. Oh, right, we're getting a boss fight here, so let's see. Yeah, should be fine. Heh, I've been waiting for you. I'm super impressed you're still alive. Really? I beat you. <laughs> I never would have thought you'd actually be a villain. All right, that boss. I, <laughs> I straight up forgot we fought a boss. A giant boss to get here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Velagunder. Velagunder. Ah, the lost human between the tiers. He was a powerful fiend to be sure, but it's low intelligence with its undoing. He never stood a chance. Heh. <laughs> You're really starting to piss me off, you know that? But I guess that works out pretty well, because now I'm even more keen on being the starch out of that collar. Let's try this one more time. I'm gonna tear that pasty face of yours into bloody shreds. What's the matter? Come on, it's time for a rematch. Ah, <sighs> you just never learn, do you? I already defeated you once. What makes you think things will turn out any differently this time? What? You should get some help, or set some traps, or something. Instead, you're just duplicating the circumstances of your loss. See, this is why I hate dealing with the unintelligent. Oh no. <laughs> Seems I struck a nerve. Though it's hard to believe anything I said could have actually sunk in through that thick skull of yours. <laughs> the hell is your problem? If you're so goddamn smart, then fine. I'll take your advice. Maybe then you'll understand just what being a little shit and talking down to others really gets you. Oh, I see. It's a... Uh... So it's a reverse. I fight her normally first, and then I fight her demons as Hugo. What do you think? I brought a couple familiars from one of my companions. I just prefer taking a more hands-on approach to battle. But you got those eyeball things, so it seems only fair I use a few tricks of my own, you know? 
Yeah. This isn't good. I'm not certain I'll be able to handle two at once. And assuming she lets them do all the work. If she joins it, I could be in real trouble. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Your name's over there! The pissy little wizard guy! Wow, wow, wow. How the turntables. Damn you, Zaba. Aren't these things supposed to be lords of the summoner? They're basically wild animals. Hey, piss boy. You really calling me that? Why are you just standing there? You really asking me that? Oh, don't mind me. Please do continue. This guy is based. <laughs> Exactly what I would do. It's like, well, I mean, listen. <clears throat> if they want to fight you instead of me, I'm all for it. I never deigned to ruin such a touching moment between a master and her two loving pets. Would you cut the shit already? <laughs> I'm asking for your help. Just let me a hand here. Why should I? Sorry, but you made your own bed. It's time to see how it feels to lie in it. <laughs> Remember when I said you reminded me of someone else? Well, if I die here, you'll never find out who. I'm listening. Wow, that actually worked? Okay, one of my commands in this tower is a guy who looks a lot like you. If you help me survive this mess, I'll tell you everything I know about him. Hmm. Alright, but you better stay true to your word. I don't know if she will, you know. She do be the villain here right now. attack. And like that, I'm almost dead. It is what I get for trying to be in the safety of my, uh, you know, long-range attacks. Thing broke, so I couldn't even like have my uh, increased airtime. All right, I'll play this a little smart then. I just stop attacking uh, a little bit before he actually starts attacking. I didn't actually mean to do that thing. See, that's, that's what I mean, right? Like, that charge attack thing is gonna get me killed. Or that, uh, lunge attack thing. Well, okay, I may just start coming after me. I thought you were gonna, like, do an attack. You know, make yourself be vulnerable. Oh, okay, now he splits up.
Ah, oh, I was doing so good, not taking any damage. Oh my goodness. The freaking thing that happens when like you can't jump immediately after doing attack is literally what got me hit there. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, again yeah. This is what actually gets you killed. The fact that you can't jump immediately after shooting. I don't know why that's a thing. Literally, that's what gets me killed. Like, I literally just, like, could not jump out of the way. Because he just... Can't do it for some reason. The boss fight was going completely fine until it, the game just does not let me jump. When I want to jump. And it's, like, really rough, too. It... It's probably like a good half second before you can actually jump again. Which is really long when things are happening quickly. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. Damn it. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I was being really greedy. What the? Oh my goodness, really? Okay, so they definitely last long enough that I can't just like tank, uh, tank it like that. Oh my god, they're just like on me. What the hell, man? Get off me! I'm probably gonna die here. I don't actually think I can do this uh, hitless from this point on. Yeah, it's close, but... Oh 
Okay, he just decided to not attack at all. That's cool. <clears throat> oh my god! Become vulnerable, please! What the hell are you doing? Very nice, actually. Oh, but that's not nice getting hit like that. Well, I'm literally one hit away. There you go. That was kind of lucky. They actually just, like, got close to each other so I could just kind of hit both. <laughs> I think the scene actually happened when I was playing as Unica as well. That was pretty nice. Well, that was easy enough. Definitely nowhere near as menacing as it seemed. At okay, typo. That's at? It's supposed to be as. <laughs> Definitely nowhere near as menacing at it seemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. You messed up. I almost feel bad for it. Ah, looks like yours is taken care of, too. Yeah, now I'm surprised you're actually sticking around. You could've just left. You already saved my ass. Thanks. Our source told us the people of Ease are all do-gooders with hearts of gold. But I guess you're a little different, huh? It took some convincing before you agreed to help me, after all. I thought you were just gonna walk away and leave me to get eaten. I mean, honestly. Pr I probably should have. <laughs> it would've been a fitting end for you. But I didn't, and you know exactly why not. I expect you to keep your promise. No excuses. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, actually, I guess on the other hand, with her sticking around here, I guess if she didn't, we could technically attack her. But on the other hand, she did run away from us once. So I don't know if Hugo could actually chase after her. You want to know more about the guy who looks like you, right? That's correct. Okay, then. Man, where to begin? He joined up with our leader about six months ago, give or take. He fights using these claws on his forearms, and he's pretty damn good with them. Not much of a conversation, though. Can't give you a name, unfortunately, because he never told us his. He just said to call him The Claw. How tacky is that, you know? The... Claw? And I guess he's got the power to absorb energy from fallen demons or something. I'm not really sure how that works. But Zaba hates his guts because of it. Seems like every demon she summons, he kills. And she gets really attached to her familiars. Oh yeah, I guess you don't know who that is. Zava is a sorceress who serves as an advisor to our leader. She's real creepy. Six months. Well, it's the right time frame, but this whole business with the claws is rather suspect. Could it be someone else? What is it? Why are you staring at me like that? Just marveling at how similar you two look. It really is uncanny. Especially when you got the same angsty look on your face. He does that all the time. So, what do you think? You two related? Long lost brothers, maybe? I think I've heard enough. Huh? I said I've heard enough. I'm convinced you've learned your lesson, so I'll let you live. This time. But you best get the hell out of my sight. What's with the attitude all of a sudden? I've been pretty damn accommodating if I do say so myself. Huh. That was just you keeping up your end of the bargain. And make no mistake, it was a bargain for you. Like it or not, we're still enemies. So unless you want to go one last round to the death, I think this would be a good time for you to bow out gracefully. God damn, I think you might even be more of a selfless than he is. 
Well, if that's how you want it, suit yourself. Seems I must have dug up one too many unpleasant memories, so it's probably best I give you time to cool down anyway. Wait. What do you mean by that? Heh, <laughs> bullseye. You want a final showdown with me? Next time. Just make sure you come prepared. I know I will. Damn, she's got teleportation magic. Well, no matter. She's a minor nuisance at best. Clearly not a real threat in any way. But still, six months ago, a man who fights with claws on his forearms. Could it really be him? Alright, the water dragon scales. What's this? Ah, I think I see. This should allow me to hold my breath on the water for a longer period of time, if I'm not mistaken. A very convenient item. And that would be coming for the Lila shell. Hugo, are you there? Yes, Aeolia, I can hear you. Is something wrong? No, quite the opposite, actually. The Holy Knights have just arrived at the tower. The search party has now been completely reassembled, more or less. As soon as you have a moment, your presence is requested back here as well. Understood. I'll walk back to base immediately. Thanks! See you in a moment. That was quicker than anticipated. I suppose the solo search hasn't been without its merits, though. I definitely made some headway. It pains me to stop now, but ignoring the summons would only raise suspicion. Hugo! Ah, Rico. Glad to see you up and about. Yeah, Mucia's healing spells helped out a lot. Though honestly, I would've been fine on my own as well. It just would've taken a bit longer. You really should've let, you keep your... let her keep you company, Hugo. You too? Honestly. It's okay, Rico. I didn't mind, honest. I just glad to see you're safe, Hugo. How's everything going? Did you get much farther up the tower? Not really. I still haven't even covered a third of it. And no clues yet as to the whereabouts of the goddesses, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I guess we still have a long way to go, then. Ah, I see you return. Sir Knight. Please, allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Galleon. I serve as Deputy Commander of the Holy Knights. And I'm Cecilia, his aide. Ramona, nice to meet you. My name's Roy. I'm a new recruit. It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Hugo Fact. Fact? Wait, so... Does that mean... It seems I finally get to put a face to the name. You're related to Toll Fact, are you not? I'm his younger brother. Is there some sort of problem with that? No, not at all. Please, do excuse the question. It was most impolite of me to ask. That's quite alright. Come, there is much to discuss. We must pull our knowledge if we are to successfully look at our gosses. I didn't think it possible for the situation to become more urgent than it already was. So the demons are under the control of humans, but why? Who are they? Whoever they are, they're serious. We must not take them lightly. Indeed, particularly since we know at least one of them has considerable skill with magic. It is extremely likely that this same enemy is responsible for disrupting our transport spell. If you're right, then we definitely got our work cut out for us, because that was one hell of an impact. Oh come on, Roy, there's no need for the long face. I'm sure she's just fine. Ramona. Um, did something happen? Come to think of it, weren't there 12 people in the search party? It seems we're still a couple short. Yukitoba is personally unaccounted for. She's an apprentice knight. Dino is out looking for her. Oh. It's okay, though. Even though transport spell was disrupted, the force fields that protected us stayed intact the whole time. So I'm certain Yunika is alright. I sure hope so. Dino is more than capable of finding her, I believe. Right now, we must focus on the task at hand. 
time is of the essence. Our top priority is to locate ladies Rhea and Fina and ensure their safety. You can leave that to us. If there's even the slightest chance they were captured by the enemy, we knights will stop at nothing to set them free. Very well. I appoint the Holy Knights as Vanguard as Vanguard then. But physical prowess alone may not be enough. Hugo's intelligence suggests there is a powerful wizard at play as well. If so, our sorcerer's talents may yet prove vital in combat. I would ask that all sorcerers join the knights in their reconnaissance. Of course, you can count on our support. Understood. I'll do whatever I can to help. I can't tell if I'm scared or excited right now. Actually, Rico, I have a special task in mind for you. I'd like for you to remain here at home base. What? You are well versed in the mystic knowledge of your house, are you not? Specifically, the spells of tempering. I suspect many powerful foes lie in wait for us within these walls. As such, I would like you to remain on hand and use your magic to strengthen the search party's weapons as, as needed. Ah, okay. No problem at all then. I'm glad I can be of service. Yes, indeed. Rico, my boy. Upgrade my weapon right now. Enhance me up. Do you really plan on continuing to search by yourself, Hugo? Yes, I think it's for the best. The ice effect presents a hazard to any bystanders in range, and I hate to cause injury to one of our own. Still... Hugo... I don't have time to placate you, Musha. I know what you're going to ask, and the answer is no. Please understand, it's for your own good. Okay, I guess you're right. It was a stupid idea anyway, sorry. Shall we go, Kadena? Sure, let's go. We'll see you later, Hugo. Try to stay out of trouble. I'm not super surprised that Hugo can't, like, enhance his own weapons. Because if we assume a magic system where it's, like, people specialize in, like, certain things, right? Like, for someone to be specialized in enhancing weapons and stuff like that, like, I'm not surprised that other people, like, just don't know that. Maybe Hugo, with him being, like, I guess, smart enough, he might be able to learn it eventually. But, you know, just, like, as it stands right now, I can see it making a lot of sense for Rico to be able to do it, but Hugo cannot. Do you have something to say to me? Not exactly. Your future seems a little shorter than usual today, that's all. I mean, you've never been very delicate with words, but that... Well, let's just say that was the absolute antithesis of delicate. Is something the matter? It's not your concern. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought you'd say. Well, you ever need to talk, I'm always willing to lend an ear. Come for the weapon tempering, stay for the therapy. Or something like that. <laughs> Just know that I'm here for you, Hugo. If I don't need to talk, he says. This isn't exactly a matter that lends itself to friendly discourse. Ah, well. All I can do now is focus on the road ahead of me. As long as I stay a few steps ahead of the knights, I should be fine. If these random aggressors have such a powerful sorcerer on their side, what do they need with the goddesses? I mean, I'm glad everyone is safe after the transport incident, but we may be in or over our heads here. I just pray that ladies Ray and Fina are aware of this threat as well. I'm glad to see the Holy Knights are safe and sound. With the sorcerers here as well, we can finally start to search in earnest. Here we go. Your reconnaissance has been invaluable to us. Please continue as you have been. Hey, Hugo. Here for a wand strength upgrade? Yes, please. Alright, let's see what we've got. Actually, maybe I should start by explaining how this all works. Yeah, yeah, I already know. Yep, yep, yep. I've heard you just get a job done. You know, fun. What good is mastering an ancient art if I can't boost, boast about it a little? <laughs> True. Hey, let me flex on you a little bit. Yeah. Strengthen me up. Nicely done. Definitely feels more powerful. Though that was eerily similar to the process employed by the Hungry Roo. I appreciate the assistance, but I must ask, is that it or can you make it even stronger still? I'm afraid not. I need a new piece of clutter or each time the spell is cast. And that just so happened to be the last piece I had on me. I see. I have to keep an eye out for any straight piece of clutter then. Thanks again for your help, Rico. Sounds like a plan. If you do manage to get your hands on some, you know where to find me. Hey, uh, about the invocation I used on your weapon. You must have been beaten to the punch by someone else. Like, the temporal process had already been applied once before. Ah, yes, about that. 
Whoa, Roos can do that? I'm not sure I like having that kind of competition. The implication of strength is my thing. I feel so defeated. But no, I'm always just some plushy demon. Yep, he can already he already said that before. Yep. Now we're at level three plus thirty-six strength. Alright. Let's uh go save it up. Boom. There you go. And with that, I think that's probably good enough for today. It's been four hours of East Origin. So, pretty good progress. Finished up Yuka's story, got started on Hugo's. Probably could have done more on Hugo's thing if I just like properly equipped my revive necklace <laughs> before. You know, and I saw that uh, uh, God statue. Because then I didn't have to like fight Kishko again. But, uh, you, you know, what, what can you do? <laughs> It's a learning process. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for everyone coming to check the stream out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, have a good night, and peace out.